Elon Musk couldn't have chosen a more opportune moment. In 2026, when tech giants are still stumbling over reinventing the basics, Tesla is turning the tables again with a device that looks like it came straight from a space mission, the Tesla Pi Phone Fold. But what immediately caught attention wasn't the futuristic design, nor the promise of a surreal camera. It was the headline that stopped forums and tech groups worldwide. Free lifetime Starlink. And the most surprising thing? This isn't exaggerated marketing. It's an ingenious move, tied to an ultra-compact modem redesigned to work anywhere on the planet, including where not even smoke signals reach. Tesla decided to solve a problem that no one else wanted to face, the so-called dead zones. Those places where your cell phone becomes a paperweight and you discover that even the GPS doesn't know where you are. Millions of Americans live this reality, especially elderly people in rural areas. Just imagine, you live in Nevada or Montana, drive for hours between small towns, and suddenly the signal disappears. That's where the secret behind the phrase, free Starlink forever, comes in. The idea is not to replace traditional carriers, but to ensure that when they fail, and they will fail, the Pi Fold is there, connected. To make this work, Tesla is using a modem that consumes between 3.2 and 3. 8 watts, the equivalent of the power consumption of a top-of-the-line 5G chip, but focused on satellite. This is almost a technical miracle. Conventional Starlink receivers require a giant antenna, almost the size of a book. Here, the trick was to use Tesla's expertise in phased array technology, the same technology used in its self-driving cars, to fit everything into a 120 millimeter strip embedded directly into the device's titanium hinge. An almost invisible detail, but one that completely changes the game. Now think about this in everyday life. You're in the middle of nowhere, with no signal, and you need to send a message or open a map. With the Pi Phone Fold, the satellite connection activates automatically, even with the phone closed in your pocket. The speed, something between 12 and 18 megabits per second. It may seem slow compared to Urban 5G, but it's enough to make calls, use WhatsApp, check the weather, and most importantly, call for help. For those who live far from the city, this is not a luxury. It's a matter of safety. Tesla's smartest move, in fact, was understanding the profile of those who need it most. Internal studies show that adults over 60 use an average of 2G deleteters of data per month, and a good portion of that is for basic functions like maps, email, and video calls with family. These numbers allowed the company to scale the service without needing to deliver a full-power Starlink. They focused on stability and usability, and between us, for those who are tired of losing signal while fishing or on a country road. This feature is invaluable. Another interesting detail is how Tesla had been targeting this audience for some time. In recent years, there has been an absurd increase in retirees traveling the country in motorhomes. And guess what the biggest problem they reported was? Lack of signal. States like Utah, Arizona, and New Mexico are famous for their natural beauty and the total absence of cell phone coverage. The Pi Fold's proposition is not just technological, it's social. It restores connectivity and autonomy to a generation that learned to live in the analog world, but today depends on the digital. The most intriguing part of this launch isn't even the satellite connection. It's the promise of a 16K camera in a foldable device. Just hearing that makes many people turn up their noses thinking it's marketing hype. But leaks from 2026 suggest otherwise. The Tesla Pi Phone Fold would be using a one-inch sensor, similar to Sony's RX100 line, but adapted with advanced thermal engineering. This puts the device in a completely new category, above any iPhone, Galaxy, or Xiaomi in terms of image quality. And here's the detail that almost no one noticed. This camera isn't just for pretty pictures. It's a tool designed to record adventures in high definition, especially for those who live outdoors. A one-inch sensor 
has a capture area almost three times larger than that of current top-of-the-line cell phone sensors. This translates to more light entering the lens, more detail in the shadows, less noise, and cleaner images. Even in challenging situations like desert sunsets or snow reflections on mountains, Tesla is reportedly betting on a 128-150 megapixel configuration with quad-pixel binning technology, which in practice allows for generating 16K photos with absurd resolution and 8K videos with a usable bitrate. And the best part, without relying on heavy post-processing that destroys the naturalness of the image. But of course, it's not all roses. Recording in 16K requires a cooling system that no foldable phone has been able to deliver to date. The accumulated heat causes the camera to shut down or the system to crash. And that's where Tesla brings another trump card, a vapor chamber that occupies practically the entire inside of the open phone. It's a two-stage fluid cooling system similar to that used in the entertainment modules of Tesla cars. It's not just innovation, it's experience reused from another sector. The result? A camera that doesn't give up even when the sun is blazing in the middle of a trail in the Grand Canyon. Tesla's focus here seems very clear. To make the Pi phone fold the best friend of those who live on the road, enjoy camping, weekend fishing, or spend the summer traveling in a motor home. We're not talking about an audience obsessed with social media or elevator selfies. These are people who want to capture real moments in extreme environments with cinematic quality. And this audience has never been taken seriously by tech giants. Elon Musk, as always, saw this gap and decided to fill it. Another relevant point, and one that demonstrates the project's maturity, is the lens module's durability. Most foldable smartphones have fragile cameras that, over time, lose alignment due to constant movement and lack of internal reinforcement. The Pi Fold, however, is reportedly leveraging technology from Tesla's automotive cameras, which withstand impacts of up to 50 Jurals and operate in temperatures ranging from 30 Brusintirnsti to 1270 Barins. For a cell phone, that's insane. But it makes perfect sense when the end user might be someone crossing Alaska or driving in 45 degree heat in Arizona. And heat, as we know, is the number one enemy of cell phones. Many iPhones stop working when they reach an ambient temperature of 35 Ibrizt, Tetwiksak Tuitris, something common in several American states during the summer. The Pi Phone Fold, with this new cooling system, promises to operate with total stability, even at peaks of 40 Tsaktuntrarens or more. This means being able to record a 20-minute video in the sun without having to run for shade or put the phone on ice. Literally in some cases. We can't ignore the emotional aspect of all this either. People between 55 and 75 years old often see their cell phone as a companion. It's what connects them with their children, records moments with their grandchildren, guides them in traffic, or serves as an alarm during a walk. Having a reliable camera that doesn't freeze, doesn't overheat, and still delivers spectacular images can make more of a difference than any cutting-edge app. And that's where the Tesla Pi Fold starts to cease being a gadget and becomes a life tool. While many people are still digesting the idea of a 16K camera in a foldable phone, Tesla goes even further and challenges the standards of physical resistance we know from current smartphones. The body of the Pi Phone Fold was designed to withstand the kind of use that would normally destroy any other foldable phone in a few months. And that's no exaggeration. We're talking about a structure built with grade five titanium alloy, the same material used in high voltage automotive components and even in aerospace applications. This detail alone shows that Tesla doesn't want to compete with ordinary smartphones. It wants to create a new category. What does this mean in practice? First, real drop resistance. Most foldable phones today, especially those using ultra-thin glass UTG, simply don't survive a common drop on a garage floor. And it's not just the impact that's a concern, but also micro-vibrations, heat, 
cold and dust. The Pi fold, on the other hand, would be prepared to withstand impacts of up to 1.5 meters onto concrete without the hinge or internal panel failing. This is something rare to see even in rigid phones, let alone a foldable one. But the focus here goes beyond urban durability. Tesla is targeting the outdoor lifestyle directly. That audience that drives for hours on dirt roads, camps, and hikes in humid or freezing regions. For them, the cell phone needs to be a silent, reliable partner, ready to withstand the rigors of the weather. And the vast majority of current models simply can't handle that. The Pi Fold's proposition is to become the first foldable phone that can truly be taken to the woods, the desert, or the snow without becoming a walking hazard. Another point that is rarely discussed but extremely relevant is thermal resistance. This device has reportedly been tested to operate between 30 degrees C and 70 degrees, something absurd for any consumer electronics device. This means you could use it on a freezing hike in Colorado or leave it on your car's dashboard in the middle of a Texas summer without the system melting or freezing. Anyone who has ever lost a cell phone due to overheating or freezing knows the value of this. And honestly, it's not a luxury. It's a necessity for those who live outside the urban bubble. And it's not just the casing that's durable. The camera lens, for example, is said to have reinforcement inspired by Tesla's optical systems used in its vehicles. They were designed to withstand constant vibrations, water, dust, and even sudden pressure changes. The idea is that the Pi Fold will continue to function perfectly even after years of use in harsh environments. This may seem like overkill to those who have never left the city, but for truckers, nomadic retirees, and road explorers, it's a true technological blessing. Furthermore, the hinge itself, the weakest point of any foldable phone, is being completely redesigned. Instead of using fragile and tiny mechanisms, Tesla is reportedly applying a design inspired by automotive suspensions, hinges with internal damping, torque distribution, and titanium reinforcement at strategic points. This should eliminate the gradual wear and tear that affects most current models, where, over time, the phone starts to open crookedly, jam, or even come loose. If the previous features weren't enough to excite, what truly sets the Tesla Pi phone fold apart is its internal performance. Unlike most foldable phones that still rely on off-the-shelf chips, the Pi Fold is reportedly receiving a proprietary Tesla processor, manufactured using 3 nanometer lithography by TSMC. And this chip, according to engineering leaks from 2026, isn't just keeping up with the competition, it's surpassing it. In preliminary tests, the chip reaches 3.66 GHz on the main core and delivers performance comparable to the Apple A18 Pro in single-thread operations. This is impressive, especially considering we're talking about a foldable phone with all the thermal and space limitations it entails. But what really stands out is the sustained performance. While chips like the Exynos or Snapdragon lose power after a few minutes of intense use, Tesla's processor maintains performance for longer thanks to the cooling system inherited from the previous part of the project. This translates into stability for those using the phone for satellite-assisted navigation, real-time offline mapping, or even for long recordings with the 16K camera. And this is where the focus on a mature audience stands out. It's not about benchmarks. It's about ensuring that the device works smoothly when the person needs it most, whether in the middle of a trip or dealing with something important online. Tesla's goal isn't to create the world's fastest cell phone, but rather the most reliable one under adverse conditions. This includes performance even when the device is in extreme heat, without Wi-Fi nearby, and far from a power outlet. The optimization between hardware and software is designed for real-world situations such as opening a detailed 3D terrain map while driving through areas without traditional coverage. And the most interesting part? All this with a fluidity 
that even those less familiar with technology can perceive. No stuttering, freezes, or abrupt app closures. Another important point is the integration between the chip and Tesla services. The Pi Fold will not just be a phone, it will be an extension of the Tesla ecosystem. This includes synchronization with the brand's electric vehicles, car status updates, air conditioning preconditioning, door opening, and even real-time maintenance notifications. All of this is processed locally, securely, and without relying on the cloud all the time. This makes the Pi Fold's central chip not only a fast brain, but also a bridge between the user and other Tesla products. And speaking of security, the processor would also include a dedicated cryptographic coprocessor focused on protecting sensitive data and financial transactions. With the increasing use of digital wallets and biometric identity, this detail becomes indispensable. The idea here is not just to compete with Apple or Samsung in security marketing, but to offer a level of protection worthy of automotive systems, where a failure can literally cost lives. And this, again, speaks to the audience that most values stability and protection. Older people. And if there's one thing that makes this whole package truly work, it's the battery. It's no use having a 16K camera, a laptop-level chip, and satellite connectivity if the device dies before noon. And Tesla seems to have understood this better than anyone. The Pi Phone Fold 2026 comes equipped with a dual-cell system of 5D500 to 5800 millimeter to me. Numbers that, at first glance, may not be so impressive, but the secret lies in the efficiency of the whole package. Instead of just pushing more capacity, Tesla optimized each component to consume less and deliver more real-time usage, especially under extreme conditions. While competing foldable phones barely reach 4400 miumi maisume and still suffer from overheating and sudden drops in performance, the Pi Fold aims to go against the grain. With its reinforced spine design, literally thicker at the central hinge, Tesla managed to fit two generous, well-distributed cells, keeping the structure firm and without compromising the user experience. What is most impressive, however, are the estimated battery life figures, between 8 and 10 hours of continuous use under intense sunlight, and 20 to 28 hours in mixed use. For those who live on the road or spend the day away from a power outlet, this is music to their ears. It's worth remembering that Starlink mode isn't active all the time. It only kicks in when there's no conventional cellular coverage. This significantly reduces power consumption, making the satellite connectivity feature viable without draining the battery. But even when Starlink is activated, it operates in narrow band mode with low power consumption enough to maintain browsing, emergency calls, and messaging. It's a practical design focused on the reality of those who need autonomy more than anything else. Now imagine this combined with a practical use. A retiree crossing Arizona in their motor home with the GPS on, listening to music, taking photos, and still connected by satellite in case something goes wrong. No need to rush to charge it mid-trip. No need to turn off the camera to save power. The cell phone keeps up with the pace of life without turning every outing into a race against time. This changes how people interact with technology, especially those who depend on it more functionally than recreationally. Another important advantage is thermal management. Even under high temperatures, the vapor chamber cooling system helps keep the battery stable. This is essential since heat and electronics don't mix even more so with high-capacity batteries. Tesla seems to have anticipated this problem and created a system that dissipates heat more evenly, avoiding the infamous thermal throttling that reduces performance and drains the battery in minutes. A particularly important feature for those who live in regions where summer seems endless.